Everyone continues to ask me one question. What exactly happened to my career? Well, it started when I was being fired from WWE. I ended up on the indie scene, taking me from Mexico all the way to Japan. It put me up against some of the best in the world competing every night. I faced countless champions and even best friends. I found myself, reinvented myself all over, and even went back to my roots where it all started. And even in the face of danger, I rose above and won my way back to WWE. All there is left now is to regain what I lost. What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. It is yours truly, Vinny June. And listen man, welcome back to Monday Night Raw because tonight we have a special match as AJ Styles goes one-on-one -on -one with The Undertaker and it is going to be an explosive night, especially seeing how the rivalry between The Undertaker and Vincent Blaze continues on. We are live from Louisville, Kentucky. Don't you move out that seat. Blaze has interrupted this match between Taker and AJ Styles and I think Blaze is about to send another clear message to the dead man. Blaze with that chair. Wait a minute, that's Kane! Kane! Kane's rescuing his brother coming to the aid of his brother Undertaker and Blaze getting out of the way just in time. And guys, tonight, the main event has been set. Blaze versus Kane. All right, guys, and we are here for the main event. And what, what actions have transpired here tonight, guys? Making his way to the ring from parts unknown, weighing in at 323 and Kane making his return to the WWE by rescuing his brother. And what a sight to see Kane, as always, Hell's favorite demon. And Blaze may have pissed off one brother, but now he has pissed off both brothers. And he is going to have to deal with both Kane and Undertaker. And what a match, guys. This is going to be. And here comes Blaze. And Blaze sending another message to the Undertaker. Almost hitting him with that chair. But clearly wanting a piece of the Undertaker. And instead, tonight, he got Kane, the Undertaker's brother. And his opponent, from Detroit, Michigan, weighing in at 273 pounds, Vincent the Icon, Blaze. And listen, Blaze knows tonight what is at stake. Blaze knows tonight what is important tonight he needs to send a message to the undertaker and what better way than a chair shot i got one for you defeating the man who has the championship brother that's the way 
you get your opponent's attention. You beat up his brother. You attack him with the championship. Blaze is doing everything to go back to that initial statement he said weeks ago. I am not afraid of The Undertaker. Kane, Vincent Blaze, the ref, ringing the bell and this match is on the way. Kane with a big clothesline right out the bat, looking out choking Blaze down on the mat. Kane is not a happy man tonight. Matter of fact, I don't even know if Kane is ever happy, but I can tell you he's definitely not going to get close to it after what Blaze did to his brother. Kane throwing him against the ropes. Tried to go for the big move. Blaze out the way. Tried to go for a big clothesline. Missed. And now Kane has him in that corner. Smashing his head into the turnbuckle. Oh my goodness. And Blaze, his brains, his turn to scramble eggs. And now Kane for the pin. On an early kick out. Early kick out. But Kane would love to be able to go back to his brother and say, look what I've done for you. And Blaze out the way. Big drop kick taking Kane down to the ground. And now stomping away on Kane's legs. Kane rolls out of the ring, back in. Blaze continuing the onslaught. Oh my goodness. STFO by Kane. And now Kane has Blaze in a weak position. And look at this, knee to the spine. And now Kane lifting Blaze up, throwing some right hands. Blaze down, and Kane feeding off the energy tonight. Going for another pin, one. And a kick out at the one count. Blaze still has his bearings together, but Kane isn't done with them yet. And how good of a victory it would be for Blaze to not only be able to defeat the brother Kane, but then to go on and beat the other brother Undertaker and win the WWE Championship. That's something not a lot of people can put on their resume. And Kane with a strong chokehold, Blaze fighting his way out of it. Kane wrenching back on that neck. The mouth covered. Blaze probably can't even breathe 100%. And Kane, one of the most vile, wicked men you will come across. Going for another pin. One, two, and a kick out. Just before the three count, Blaze may be losing a little bit of more of his energy and a little bit more of his life as this match goes on. And now Kane dragging Blaze to the corner. No, to the ropes. And now look at this. Tried to go for the big move, but missed. Blaze fighting back. Blaze fighting. The, oh my goodness. And Kane quickly regains energy and control as he just big booted Blaze to the face and I think Blaze is busted open going for the pin and a kick out I don't know if that was just Blaze kicking out or if that was just his body reacting but he is busted open and Kane is in full control of this matchup Kane going to the top rope Blaze better be careful he better watch out my goodness, big clothesline off the top of the rope and Kane, oh, reversal by Blaze, Blaze, look at this out of nowhere, train of thought, Blaze must have been playing possum, one, two, oh and a kick out, near three and Blaze can't believe it, he thought he had Kane right there, and now Blaze, Dragging him to the ropes. Throwing him against the ropes. Off the. Oh, look at this. Blazing touch. The blazing touch connects. One, two. 
Oh, wait a minute. Wait, Blazer's saying no. He's not done. Blazer's not done. He has more in the tank. Clothesline. Oh, and that Pele kick to the full head. And Blaze is fired up. He is using the fire and energy of this crowd. BME beat my effort. And now, Blaze putting the icing on the cake. Face the facts. Good night. Blaze, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Blaze going for another one? A second face the facts and blaze with the pin one two three and blaze is victorious somehow coming back digging down deep for the victory and look at the replays I mean Kane was in total control Kane had this match wrapped up he was beating the living snot right there bang clothesline beating the living snot out of blaze but right here blaze flipped the switch and turned on the energy turned on the fire and blaze finished him off bme off the second rope face the facts call it quits it's over here is your winner, Vincent, the icon, Blaze. And Blaze with the victory over Kane. As two weeks from now, he will face The Undertaker at Hell in a Cell for the WWE Championship. You gotta wonder, what else does Taker have up his sleeve? What does Blaze have left to give?